Good morning, YouTube. Right now it's about 5.30 in the morning. I'm going for my morning stroll. That I like to do every morning, especially when I'm at Disney, you know, just kind of get up and do what I saw. Sort of stroll, I usually walk through the resort, you know, somewhere. Uh, but yeah, just to kind of wake up. But I usually also have an energy drink, which I left in the room. Anywho, today we're going to Animal Kingdom. So make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Uh, I can't talk this morning, apparently. Make sure you hit that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. There we go. Like I said, it's 5 30 in the morning. We're gonna try to do Fight of Passage. We're gonna try to do Mount Everest, which is an awesome ride. I'm definitely gonna get some hamburger pods because I love those. And we'll see what else we're gonna do. It's apparently gonna be a short little day because Emma Kingdom, you know, we have to cool stuff, but we're gonna try to take it. Oh, swell today, cut it short. We got a nice reservation over here at the resort at uh, uh, Can Canyon, Can Canyon something? Canyon, Canyon, Canyon. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. It's gonna be right here. So, come along and we'll see what kind of day we got. <clears throat> See you guys later. Merchandise for sale. Link in the description down below. Redesigns and more. Let's back to the video. Getting the bug for early access. Gonna run over the fire passage get that first wrap before the park actually opens. Hopefully it doesn't take long to get over there. Um, yeah, let's go.
I'm on quite a passage already for a seven minute wait, but it should be too bad. Either way, I'm excited. I love this ride. I've only done it one other time, but. I love that ride. The effects, everything is so amazing. Every weekend, I actually threw my ears in the uh, glass basket. I don't know if you could hear me before because uh, I had the mask on, but we were walking out of Fire Passage and I accidentally dropped my ears in the disposable uh, basket for the glasses and I didn't reach in and get them out. But I got them, so we're good. I love Leaving Avatar, heading over, well, sorry, Pandora, heading over to Kilimanjaro Safari. So we'll see you over there. Leaving Avatar, heading over, well, sorry, Pandora, heading over to Kilimanjaro Safari. So we'll see you over there. Now the black rhino weighs about 3,000 pounds, and at the end of its nose there is a bee. A lot of these animals will have that stripe pattern jutting out of the water. We're going to see some of that right now on our right side. We are just enjoying life out there. We can also see some more hippos in the water on our left as well. So you can see some on both sides right now. A herd of hippos is called a bloat. And we can see some popping up out of the water. I can tell that they are the Messiah giraffes. They have that squeery pattern. There are other species of giraffe out there that have a more square, rectangular pattern in comparison. Now, if they did have that square tan out here. <laughs> Now the African wild dog is also known as the painted dog. They get that name because it looks like we're also seeing some stable antelope with those. He was born on June 10th of this year, so not too long ago. When he was born, he was about six feet tall, 180 pounds. So almost the size of a full grown person. Another really up close view of this giraffe right here on our left. And we start to see that squiggly pattern I mentioned earlier. Uh, just like the Okapi, giraffe have a long prehensile tongue to help them to reach up to grab all those leaves and bring down that branch. That's right here. When they jump around, we call that bronking. The word bronking translates. Oh yeah, there he's coming out. That's a good eye. I almost missed him. They have muscles within it, so it's very strong. They can break down okay. trees, but it's also quite delicate. It has so many muscles that it has great articulation. Here we are passing by a couple more of these baobab trees. 
right next to mom through the trees. There's a nice little clearing around the edge where you may see them better. Now that baby white rhino is about a thousand pounds right now. He's just hit a year old. So we're very excited for him. But they can get up to about 5,000 pounds. So we've got a long way to go. We're going to try to scooch up next to these white rhino. But out there on the left, we can also see a couple cheetah. We might be able to see some more up ahead. Now cheetahs, they are natural sprinters. They can go about zero the lions. Of course, the male lion is sitting right in the middle, and there's two females off to the side eating something right now. Now that male lion has that really big fluffy mane. It looks pretty light on him, but it's actually about 25 pounds. It's more like a thick protective armor. Oh, there's one sleeping at the top of that hill, as well as one down here. Oh, and another. They blend in really well. Now warthogs are pretty smart, they just don't have the best eyesight. So they tend to rely on... I love the eyes. I wish they got closer. She's got a seal. What's his name? It's Pop. Pop. <laughs> At Magic Kingdom, the try would do your Seven Ghost Mine Train, maybe Haunted Mansion, a couple other rides just for fun. We got a couple hours before the park closes, so why not? And then we come back here tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll see you at Magic Kingdom today and tomorrow. How about that? everyone is leaving because we have the after magic hours because we are staying at Wooden's Lodge so we get to stay till 11 o'clock and else is leaving like now because it's 9 and the fireworks already happen at 8 so at the fireworks are just kind of skedaddled out of here so we're getting here whenever we're leaving so hopefully uh, by the time to go down and hopefully the crowd gets a little less and a few minutes once everybody else leaves. So, we try to do Haunted Mansion first. Like, okay. Check out how awesome the castle looks. Too bad that it was a class five. They trace an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> 
which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. I made the seven drawers, still 45 minute wait, but I guess we'll see. Uh, if not, we'll try again later. Uh, he's not moving. Dang, Scooter, move on my way. I'm very excited for Silver Cup Quarantine. I've only been this one at a time, so. Very exciting. Let's go. Oh, there's an opening right there. <laughs> Wait time says 45. It's actually like 15. And uh, speaking of some dwarves, check out this video up here. I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, it. <laughs> I told you I was gonna scream. Don't lose your phone. I'm not catching it. The hair got all messed up. Back is awesome. Oh, says you. Uh -oh. Uh. 
Kill, you feel up more in the back. <laughs> yeah, I see. You're rocking more too. That's me and Missy doing that. Oh, God. <laughs> Lock the cart. <laughs> Sandro's mine train in the dark and in the back row was ridiculous. And I don't know if you heard me inside because it was kind of loud, but it said 45 minutes. It was more like 15. You want Winnie the Pooh? Winnie the Pooh? Sure, yeah. you can do Winnie the Pooh. Has he done Winnie the Pooh? No. Oh. Last time I did it was like when I was here, it was six. No, you and me did it, right? When we came we did to it with Arthur. Okay, that's right. As I was saying before, speaking of seven dwarfs, check out this video right here. You'll enjoy it. If you haven't seen it already. Now one way to poop. <laughs> Doing teacups, but we did uh, was that your space ninja? Check out that video up there for that. We did I set the video? We're gonna try to do uh, Thunder Mountain before we head out. Oh, oh sorry. You Thank you. Well, that was a fast one. Because this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. He
Can I just stay here, sir? <laughs> oh, that was great. What an awesome eye. Look at my hair. Wait, can I just stay here? <laughs> Look at my hair. It's all blown back. Uh, that was a lot of fun. But we're done for the day. We're heading back to the front to catch the boat, back to Wilderness Lodge. Got to ride Thunder Mountain twice. Back to back, way in a row, it was awesome. The second time around, we had the whole train to ourselves. No one else except for me, my wife, and her parents. And we sat in the back. It was insane. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow at Magic Kingdom again. And we're gonna meet with a couple of friends of ours. Uh, so, we'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you like button, make sure you subscribe button, and check out that video and that video over there. And as always, peace.